Hi everyone, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled Ski Tricks. <clears throat> and the verse today, I'm going to read you from the um, book and then from the word. Yet among the Oh, it's 1 Corinthians 2, 6 through 7. Yet among the mature, we do impart wisdom. We impart a secret and hidden wisdom of God, <clears throat> which God decreed before the ages for our glory. And I'm going to read from the King James. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. In other words, complete. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world, that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Water skiing is a challenging sport to master. When you watch seasoned skiers, they make it look easy, as if the boat is a smooth running rocket on the water and the jet skiers just gracefully hang on for the ride. But when you are first learning to water ski, finding your strength and balance to avoid falling flat on your face takes a while. Countless practice runs later, you finally get the rhythm down for standing up on the water. Mature skiers have practiced and trained to be able to control their bodies on the skis and do flips, jumps, and spins. In the changing conditions on the water, they know which way to lean and how to balance and push off in order to land the desired trick. In a similar way, we can train our minds, hearts, and bodies in godly wisdom. So that even with shifting circumstances, our movements are guided by discernment and poise. You know which ways to lean and jump on the changing events to reach our goals with wise, godly re results. When we first learn to walk in godly wisdom, we might find it just as challenging as water skiing is to a beginner. We might fall more times than we succeed, but we keep trying and practicing. Eventually, we will reach the mature level of manageable flips and graceful jumps. All the tricks of the experts on skis. Jesus helped me to reach maturity by using wisdom until I am expert at it. Amen. That reminds me of the verse also that talks about, um, uh, you know, when you were babes, you drank milk, and when you grew up, you ate meat and that's what it's talking about God's Word um, it's not easily digestible in the beginning you don't understand it and it takes time to mature and if you you're not doing it for the right motives it's likely you won't understand it that's why he says it is a mystery and um, to those that aren't of the faith it's a stumbling block. It's a rock of offense. Jesus was. So we can either have discernment in prayer, in prayer, um, when we're reading his word. That's exactly what we need, the Holy Spirit, to develop us, to understand, because he writes those parables and things um, that are mysteries to those who are not of the faith. And that's why he does it, to keep them confounded, because he's not for everyone. It's sad to say, but there is a large, you know, population that will not be there in the end. But for those of us who want to know him better, as we grow in the word, he will lead us to understanding. Sorry for the wind today, guys. It's a balmy 17 degrees <laughs> it's supposed to be uh, a high of 28 but even the weather thing only says it's getting up to 26 so no water skiing for me today although I would like to do a polar bear plunge sometime <laughs> 
So may we um, pray for guidance and understanding as we're reading God's word and because we could lead people astray and make no mistake, we will be held accountable for that. So God forgive me if I ever have and I want to spread his word justly. So I hope that you guys have a blessed Thursday, Friday weekend, Lord willing, and take care of yourselves. Stay warm. <laughs> Love you. God bless. Bye.